five ways in which we can obtain a Turkish citizenship. I have noticed a lot of people don't know the means in which they can become citizens in Turkey. So the last video I made about answering or responding to one of my commenters' question, I noticed that a lot of people don't know about this. So I said, let me do a video to enlighten more of my followers. people yeah welcome back again to our channel this is Lydia Labed all the way from Istanbul and in today's video guys I want to be talking about five ways in which you can obtain a Turkish citizenship so guys if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe like and share the video and also turn on that notification button so that whenever I upload new videos you'll be the first to be notified so guys as I earlier said I'm going to be talking about five ways in which we can obtain a Turkish citizenship I have noticed a lot of people don't know the means in which they can become citizens in Turkey. So the last video I made about answering or responding to one of my commenters' question, I noticed that a lot of people don't know about this. So I said, let me do a video to enlighten more of my followers. So now the first way or in which you can obtain a Turkish citizenship is by birth. So, and this by birth means that one of your parents must be a Turkish citizen, either your mother or your father. And they have to prove that they are Turkish citizen for you to be able to also apply and to become a Turkish citizen. So that is the first one, which is by birth, which one of your parents must be a Turkish citizen. The second one is by marriage. Now, this marriage, uh, uh, this marriage own, it requires you to stay with that person for at least a period of three years if it is lesser than three years sorry it won't be given if you apply they will reject it but if you have lived with that person for the period of three years or you have been married to that person for at least three years then you can go ahead and apply and here now you have to prove that you are living with that person if you guys are married and you are living apart i don't think it's going to work so make sure you prove that you guys are living together and you have been married for at least a period of three years or uh, of, uh, of a period of three years. The next one uh, is purchasing a property. Now, to purchase a property in, in Istanbul or in Turkey, you need to purchase a property worth at least $400,000. Wow. You need to buy a house, anything, property, anything in Turkey, where people mostly buy houses of at least $400,000. Then you can go now and apply for a Turkish citizenship, which I will advise you to use a lawyer because just you alone is going to be very difficult and it's going to take a very long process for you to go about it. So use a Turkish lawyer so that you are going to uh, is is going to be or is going to facilitate your your documentation and your procedures and so on. Okay, number four is by descent. Like people that have descendants that are Turkish citizens. But here now you have to prove that you have a descendant in Turkey who is a Turkish or who was a Turkish citizen for you to be able to, to apply. And also indeed it requires birth certificate also of that person and so on as some papers or some documents that you are going to to provide it requires a lot of documents so the lawyer is going to guide you about that now let's continue number five for you to be able to get turkish citizenship also is by what naturalization like you have lived in this country in turkey for at least five years and you have been legal for that period of five years like you have been having your resident permit consistently for the period of five years then you can go ahead and apply to become a Turkish citizen so i'll also advise you to make sure you use a lawyer or an immigration lawyer to be able to defend you or to be able to proceed or with with your documents and so on so i hope i have spoken well please 
if i've forgotten something and you know about it don't forget to drop it at the comment section you know we all we are here to learn the fact that i'm educating you guys you guys also can educate me we take corrections if i'm wrong somewhere please always make sure you correct me at the comment section and so on thank you so much for watching this video and i pray that you share this video please share this video and like the video and please don't forget to come back again to watch our next episode or our next video thank you so much see you guys bye bye